guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dea and uh, before I get started I just wanted to say that yes I am completely aware that I have not been filming anything and I haven't posted anything for a little over a week and uh, a lot has been going on first and foremost I do want to say that I did make a promise to myself that whenever I felt the need to just get away to just give myself time to breathe to help myself mentally and physically and emotionally just zone out um, that I would take the time and do so and listen to my body and not overwork myself and just give myself time to get back to feeling like myself again. The last couple of weeks have been a little overwhelming but at the same time I'm kind of glad that I'm getting into the comfort of being okay with listening to my body, being okay with taking time off, being okay with doing what needs to be done to feel better. So the last time that I posted, I did mention that my boyfriend was really sick and he was feeling better. Turns out that we went through like a little scare and um, he went back into the hospital and he was diagnosed with um, thyroid issues. Um, the good thing is that he was diagnosed and um, he is getting treatment for his um, hyperthyroidism and that kind of just puts me at ease knowing that he is getting treated for what we had no idea was going on obviously it is a pain in the ass because he's constantly like going back and forth for checkups and just making sure that he's okay however nothing makes me happier to know that he is taking care of himself and he is a-okay <laughs> work has been a little a little hectic um but not it's it's been manageable um the weather though has really put a toll on my body um randomly decided to get really really chilly in florida for whatever reason however the weather has been getting back to normal and uh, my body's responding much better um so yeah for the past couple of weeks it's just been a mixture of like just everything going on but we gucci we gucci we here and we good <laughs> so now that i've given you a little update on what's been going on i do want to talk about the grammys <laughs> everyone's been talking about bts's performance in the grammys and i gotta say i love bts i really do the performance itself was a little awkward i'm not gonna lie however all i can say is that i am happy that they are happy <laughs> I think out of everything, that's truly what matters the most. Um, a lot of people are disappointed that they weren't given their own stage and they, they think that BTS was disrespected that way and this, this and that and oh my god, it was only a 40 second performance of them and blah blah blah. But the fact of the matter is, I don't think that BTS would ever do something that they didn't feel comfortable doing or that they didn't agree to doing, etc. I think that they had a lot of fun and I think, you know, despite it just being such a random like performance um you know it's more exposure for them and and they get to meet more people more artists it's a great opportunity for them regardless so i'm happy in that sense would i have been happier if i got to see them perform black swan at the grammys damn that would have been so dope absolutely but at the end of the day you know it's like uh, someone mentioned on twitter that what if like it was rm that got asked and i actually thought about that too like my boyfriend and i had like a whole conversation on this like what if really since old town row was such a popular song and regardless they were probably gonna have the last do something anyway with billy ray cyrus and and everyone else and uh what if you know rm was asked and he was just like well if you're giving me the opportunity i better at you know you guys better get my boys along in there and and you know have all the bts up there I don't think we'll ever know if that's actually what happened or not or what or you know everyone's gonna be like oh no bts you know their name is so big that they were asked to do this and blah 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 so i don't know i don't know and personally i don't care i all i care about is the fact that they had fun and they went up there and did their thing it is what it is so i'm not gonna complain about their performance at all uh i'm not gonna say anything negative about it because we all saw them have fun and if you support them you support them and if you don't care for that performance well it is what it is it is done and till their next performance the one performance however that i am excited to see i'm like super super excited to see is tonight at the late late show with james corden i'm excited to see the performance to black swan i don't know like that's one performance that i don't know anything about i don't know if they're going to be dancing or if they're just going to be singing i don't know anything about that um but i am super 
super excited. I've been staying away from social media, so I haven't seen anything whatsoever. But that performance is something that I'm really, really looking forward to because that would be like the beginning of everything that's been happening and then with the tour coming out and and all the tour dates being released and oh my god they're coming to florida i'm so excited will i be going i don't know i don't know like i really 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 want to however it's just kind of like it's a money situation there's just a lot of things that are happening right now that i'm kind of like ah and i can't wait to share with you guys um however for right now i'm kind of just like i uh, the money situation is like mm, i'm so broke broke like i'm really really sad because so many artists are coming to florida like monstax sunrise uh freaking stray kids is coming to like my neighborhood my neighborhood they're performing in my neighborhood and i don't even know if i'll even get the opportunity to see them because honestly between work my schedule between being broke as f between doing so much in my house like there's so much going on and just yeah i don't know <laughs> i don't know and i'm really sad about not knowing um, but I'm definitely going to fight for these BTS tickets. You know, I somehow, I always, where well, there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, if I am blessed to getting to see them, thank you. Um, but if I don't get to see them, at least I know that I have experienced BTS's concerts before. And, um, yeah, I mean, it'll give somebody else the opportunity who hasn't, um, to get to see them. So, I'll be okay. <laughs> So yeah, today I'm going to be reacting to some BTS, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I didn't even get the chance. I'm telling you guys, like, I've been so, like, away from everything that's been happening. So many new songs have come out, and I'm just like, Mleh. So, uh, so I haven't seen the reaction to the Black Swan um, art film. And so I'm going to be watching that, and I'm really excited because I think they're just so adorable. And I just want to know what they were thinking. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, let's get it. It's something profound. I love that they notice that there are seven. Cute. They're like so mesmerized. Like Yungi's face is like freaking cookie. He looks so focused. He's not even blinking. Jesus, blink. <laughs> Earth the cookie. He's not blinking. Oh my god. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. I'm glad that they released this like after and not just like you get what I mean like after everyone realized that there was like the Spotify version and then they had this version which version do you guys like best like as much as I love this one I really like the other version too like I can listen to the other one and just like really really jam out which I have been doing but yeah this this one's really beautiful Oh, so they kind of like, okay, they're like bouncing, they're skipping. I love this scene. So beautiful. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> He's like, can't leave after eight until it's eight. Oh my gosh.
the, the amount of time that it takes to like practice and get everything like spot on. I can only imagine like their days, what their days are like. Just constant practice and practice and practice. Well, practice does make perfect. I just noticed there was writing there. I don't know if it said exhale or some shit like that. I don't know what it said, but I just realized. I love how they're not sure of like the things that happen. It's kind of just like big hit doing their thing. I love how how mesmerized, like just just how mesmerized they are of like watching this performance as like most people were. They really are at another level. Absolutely. It's so true, like, there's just, it's so crazy how you can express so much with just your body language. Not even so much with words, it's just the way you can move that really, like, uh, captures such a beautiful emotion or feeling and it's just insane. Like, I wish I could, I knew how to dance, I just can't for the life of me, but people that do and move so gracefully as those people did. It's just like, I applaud you. Like, you guys are amazing. Let's get your shirtless and do it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. The fandom would just die. Absolutely. I think a lot of people were able to appreciate what they were able to put for us, put together. It was different and it was very unique and it was something that I don't think people were expecting at all but it was a good thing. <laughs> <I'm> like what are you doing if you kept at it? He still dances. Oh my god. How cute. <laughs> I feel like that's how everyone feels. It's like as soon as someone like releases a pre to something or like a sneak peek or whatever to anything, it's like it almost makes it that much more real that something huge is coming. And for BTS, it would be their new album, it'll be their new tour, it'll be, you know, new tour means new choreography, new music, new everything. And it's just so, so exciting. Just like freaking V, what was it that he said at the iHeart thing? Uh, they were like, oh, what can they expect with this new tour? And he's like, new, new hair. V, what, what can we expect for this tour? Come on, tell them, tell them.
New hair, new makeup. <laughs> yes! Um, but yeah, this was fantastic. I love when artists are able to react to their own music and you get to see it um, firsthand. Um, I know this was definitely a video that was long overdue. However, you know, I'm doing it now and I just have so much love for these boys. Like, they're just so fantastic. Ah. Seeing the Grammys and seeing the interviews and, and just like, I, I think prior to even seeing all of that, people already know that this era is going to be extremely different from the last couple eras. And I'm so excited to see what they have in store because yes, I do believe that this era is going to be a little darker. Like RM said, they're going to go harder. And uh, yeah, it's just really exciting. It's really exciting because they always seem to keep it very refreshing. And I, I don't know, it's just something that you can really appreciate from an artist that they work so hard to just keep it changing up and, and just keep giving you new content all the time. So I really, really appreciate that for BTS and I'm so excited for them, especially for this upcoming tour. I'm excited for everyone who will be able to experience uh, the tour, um, but yeah. I don't know guys, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get to see them again, especially in my freaking freaking state. Um, I don't have to like fly anywhere else and it'll, it'll just be so much more nicer. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll get to see them and it'll be fantastic. So yeah, hopefully in the next couple of videos I'll be able to mention what I'll be up to for the next couple of months, etc. Um, but yeah, it's exciting, it's exciting news and um, I don't know. It's like when you really want something, you gotta make it happen. You know what I mean? I'm at a point in my life where if I really wanna do something, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I've never been someone who has shied away from not doing what I've wanted to do. However, I've, I've always been the type of person that kinda just like, it takes me a while to do the initial first jump, you know? And I don't wanna be like that anymore. I kinda just wanna like take the risk right then and there. I feel like everything happens for a reason. And so if things are meant to be, they are meant to be. And I kinda just have to be okay with that. This is a year where I need to just be more open with myself and a year where, not that I haven't been, um, but I mean it in a different sense where, you know, I will forever continue to, you know, speak my mind and I will forever continue to do what makes me happy, but take it a bit further, if that makes sense. I've never been the type of person to let somebody else hold me back. The only person that has ever been able to do that is myself and I don't want to limit myself anymore to the opportunities that will present themselves to me. So that's gonna be my 2020 and yeah just listening to myself a little more kind of sounds very selfish and uh weird but at the same time i've always been a very selfless person and i've always put myself out there for everybody else and i never give myself the love that i've needed to give myself for me and so from now on that's my goal for 2020 just take care of myself so that i can continue to be able to take care of others it's gonna be a very good year you guys and I'm I'm so freaking happy thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you'd like to go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video and I promise to not wait so long to post my next video <laughs> love you guys